All right, good morning, day five. Here we go. What is outside the old porthole? That is Curacao. Right here is where everyone gets off the boat. We have the best view of few people getting off the boat. And then it uh, looks like people are waiting here for their shore excursions. Uh, and so they go, you know, they get swindled into spending a bunch of money on shit they could just walk to. Uh, there's a big bridge right there. You can see some other cool stuff. You can see the waves uh, brushing up on the shore. And uh, all right, well, we're going to go out and show you Curacao. Disembarking uh, here in Curacao. Is this is the first time you've seen Curacao. It's definitely the first time I've seen Curacao. Anyway, you see the boat. This is going to be a short stop. The boat will only be here for about three hours. It's too windy, but I was saying this looks like the filming location for Popeye the Movie by uh, Robert Altman with Robin Williams but that is actually in Malta. Hard to believe this is day five. It feels like day 50. This is definitely the longest uh, trip I've been on in quite some time. Still going. I think the garbage cans are talking. And crowd a jewelry, souvenir, and magic in water. Who's ever Welcome seen a Curacao, talking garbage can? Unique in the world. Curacao's got some stuff. Right here in Curacao. And uh, here is the Riff Fort. And it was established in 1828. And uh, let's go take a look. I feel like they, they should be some kind of swindle for a few dollars to see this, but apparently uh, no. <laughs> they probably could find some other racket to swindle you for. Think about what this was like in 1848. Actually, some of these people uh, look like they may have been there. Excuse me, can you tell me about 1848? Oh, this looks like Carnival Court in Las Vegas. This historic fort has become uh, a silly tourist attraction, but it's still nice. Don't don't let me get you down. This is Curacao's uh, favorite band, Curacao Freddy, and the Ports. Uh, been here for many years. I believe 1902 they first started here. 1902. Ooh. Historic Rift Fort is inscribed on UNESCO World Heritage List. Is that how you say it, UNESCO? The Rift Fort was built in 1828 to protect the entrance of the St. Anna Bay and the outer part of Bochy, Adarabanda. Watch your step. What? That says Adarabanda. Uh, That's what I said. Well, watch your step and enjoy the view. Uh, hopefully these folks we're gonna watch this stuff and enjoy the view. We know we'll do it too. We're gonna do it too. Here we go. Can you believe you're walking up steps from 1848? I'm shocked myself. I hardly sleep at night thinking about steps in Curacao. Could this be a beautiful view? Could be. There is the sign that says, do not stand in the front way. Quaint little town here. And, uh, Welcome to the Rift Fort, established in 1828, Curacao. 
Ah, uh, there he is, John Curley Curacao, the uh, founder of Curacao. Uh, 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 sorry, that's Dr. Efrain uh, John Keir. He lived from 1917 to 1987, and he did all kinds of shit. And he likes to carry a pump across this bridge here when we come to it. And let's see what's on this side of Curacao. I like it here. You can do a lot of things on your own. I say it constantly, but never did I expect uh, to say I'm in Curacao. I'm not sure I ever even <laughs> thought uh, of Curacao or what, uh, what that would entail. But here we are. This seems nice. Look, statue of Colonel Curacao right there. That's him, Colonel Curacao. He had an amazing chicken recipe and he did a lot of good things for the people of Curacao. Oh, uh, that's not Colonel Curacao, that's uh, Mr. Dr. Moises Promencio. It's got to be Mr. or Doctor, right? Mr. Doctor. Well, he was a good man, maybe. I mean, you got to be a good man to get a statue. He's the first graduate from Curacao to get a doctorate degree in state law defending his vision. And he did a bunch of good things. You can read about them. Colonel Curacao was not as nice. There go the, that's the bells of Curacao. You all know what that means. Does that mean? It means it's 12 o'clock. Oh, is that it? Yes, as you know, the bells of Curacao mean it's 12 o'clock. Look at that. That looks a little bit like San Francisco, the painted ladies. If you watch Full House, uh, uh, that's what that looks like, the houses. Thank you. Uh-oh, those are the chimes of Curacao. What does that mean? Parliament. Oh, oh, Big Ben, Parliament. Look, kids, Parliament. This is the best part of Curacao yet. It's sleeping kid. Apparently, sleeping kitties are encouraged in uh, Curacao. All right, looking for things to do in Curacao. Here are some options. Coastal Museum, that sounds fascinating. The waterfront, the waterfront arches, that should be one thing, not two. And then the floating market, and then right here, of course, is the first church of Curacao. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe. Well, it, it's a church, I think. That's a church. I apologize. That is the first public protector's office of Curacao. What is that, like a law firm? It doesn't. Anyway, it's nice. Look at that Cinelandia. That was probably an old movie theater. I mean, I don't speak Curacaoian, but uh, that, I believe that's an old movie theater. And boy, thinking of the history. They probably showed Deep Throat and Curacao in there in 1978. Incredible. And there is the souvenir station. Over here would be what's called like a bus station. These are like, it's like some homeless riffraff, but they're nothing compared to the homeless riffraff that I encountered at Grand Central Station or places uh, such as that. All right, here we go. All right, and this is the historic Mr. Peterman district in Curacao. Oh, uh, uh, Peter Ma, excuse me. Mr. Peterman is something completely different. Uh, we're gonna walk some more. If you go down this way, I'm gonna show you some of the fine food of the locals in Curacao. They love statues here. People come uh, from all over to experience the fine cuisine of Curacao. And uh, thankfully, look no further, because here it is. Uh, one of Curacao's finest local attractions. And the big breakfast is 1690 in uh, Curacao money. This, uh, this local establishment serves premium fish. And, uh, very, not often in Curacao uh, can you find a fine eatery that has premium fish. They do have the McFlurry uh, caramel blackberry waffle. Maybe you can find that everywhere. A little different. All right. Just walking all over uh, Curacao. It looks nice. I mean, it's interesting because you have some tourism 
and then you have that mixed with you know local people uh, some of which are maybe sleepy and homeless but I think they have that anywhere it doesn't feel uh, unsafe but everybody says that until somebody kills them that's the Maritime Museum, very popular around here. I don't think I'd go inside of it. Sometimes I feel like maybe I don't show enough. Sometimes I feel like I show too much. But I mean, when the hell are you gonna be in Curacao? I don't think I'm ever gonna be in Curacao again. And there's a casino over there. I mean, it seems very nice. You know, I always say when you're on these cruises, you don't really get to know a place because you're here for an hour and you see what they want you to see. Uh, but it seems nice. What are you showing me? Swinging Old Lady Brewery. Swinging Old Lady Brewery. I think I'm going to pass. Uh, but anyway, it's nice. Is that our boat? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's very, very, very nice. The uh, National Curacao State Bridge the gateway to Curacao and uh, it's a uh, very legendary <laughs> built after the Second War <laughs> and, uh, uh, it's uh, 50 stories to you and I uh, quick correction that is not the uh, Curacao State Bridge that is the Queen Amadala uh, uh, bridge is that what it's called Juliana, Queen Juliana. And didn't we see her sister yesterday? Her mother. Her mother. What was her mother's name? Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. So for those of you who are history buffs, maybe don't take everything I say uh, uh, so serious. Nice cafes like this here. This is seafood and coffee. Uh, an odd combination. But they a lot of politically correct uh, signage. Uh, this gentleman here is... <laughs> letting us know about the ceviche special that they're having today. They have uh, empanadas as well. And uh, he's doing some sort of salute. I'm not sure that's politically correct or the eyes, but uh, all right, well, listen, Curacao is a little behind on the times, but next year they say women are gonna be able to vote. No expense is spared when decorating in Curacao uh, these uh, uh, these are relics. These are fine relics. Uh, uh, Michelle, do you know what these are? Uh, these are old they, uh, compact discs. Uh, they before uh, 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 Spotify. <laughs> All right, maybe you're not that young. We decided to eat at the Iguana Cafe uh, right on the water. It's very nice. And then right there is Mr. Tablecloth. That store sells nothing but tablecloth. Uh, Mr. Tablecloth has been here for ages. His family, uh, Tablecloth Jr. Uh, and Mrs. Tablecloth, uh, make their residence here uh, in the fall. This is the Iguana Cafe. Uh, gigantic Iguana right there. Yeah. Anyway, Iguana Cafe. Uh, happy hour is the Monday 18 to 19. You know that? Uh, and, uh, oh, they have Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Maybe I can look up what some of these things are. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, there's a lot of stuff that I'm just not familiar with. I, I, I don't want to screw up and order the fried iguana dippers. I often stress, uh, take it in while you can. I could never have even made this up. I don't think I would have even thought of Coruscant in my life. Now I'm sitting in a roadside. Uh, this is the table most likely to be taken out by the car. But uh, I ordered the mixed snack platter. She said it had all kinds of things in it that uh, I never heard of. Oh, here comes the drinks. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Uh, uh, and so, uh, I'm going to try them. I'm going to be brave for everybody watching. I'm going to try croquettes and uh, bitter balls. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And someone is going to have a liquid. Uh, to go with, uh, what is that? It's a shooter. Oh, a shooter. Yeah, yeah. Well, the sh they don't have that problem here. American problem. Oh my goodness. The entire uh, bridge is moving. If you know anyone who's scared of bridges, as I do, that was insane. I mean, to me, it's not a big deal. 
there it goes. That's a pontoon, right? Pontoon bridge, yeah. Well, there we go. Well, I guess, uh, welcome to Curacao. We're now residents because there is no way back to the boat. I mean, we could swim, but these are uh, uh, Curacaoian shark infested waters. Uh, and, uh, uh, yes. As you see, the local indigenous bird, the, uh, 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 the pigeon, is everywhere. Wow, look at that. Fascinating. Where do you see Ray Parker Jr. tonight? This is, uh, Francais Moster. You say you think that's, that's Dutch, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's a mild, uh, get rude. Apologize. For my Dutch viewers, I apologize. I come to your country and uh, anyway, this is the condiment uh, station at the table, which makes me think my food is going to be very, very. Right. That is the uh, pulled pork with pickles. I think it looks good. This is the snack platter. I don't really know what to tell you. I mean, it's got stuff in it, all, all fried. And then this is the nacho uh, chip dip uh, special. Uh, all of this, six dollars. They opened the bridge so the boats can go by. That's the world famous uh, white tip, uh, known for just just the tip, just the white tip. I don't want to be one of these pier runners or whatever. The boat leaves in an hour and uh, gangway up in an hour. But uh, I'm, I'm I'm showing that the table has been cleared. And it's now time for the presentation of the bill. And I would like to leave. But you can see it's busy. So it takes a while for this bridge to open. And uh, they said we could take a boat. This right here is the Island Treasures gifts and souvenirs. We just bought some uh, gifts and souvenirs. Uh, in there. I see a lot of interesting people around uh, in, in, as you're getting ready to board the bridge. That right there is vote for Pedro. If you've seen Napoleon Dynamite, you know Ephraim Ramirez. And that is him. Vote for Pedro. Good. I don't do very good impressions, but that was him. Now, uh, paparazzi uh, video, I never thought this would become the paparazzi channel, but that gentleman in the hat, he's being blocked right now, that is Tommy Tooth, 8675309. Do you think when they ask uh, for his phone number for reference, 8675309, well, there he is. He just went and bought some hidden treasures. I went to the uh, island treasures. Tommy Tooth, Tom. 8675309, here it comes. Uh, he's the guy with the hat and the shorts, he's holding a plastic bag. Uh, do you think TMZ is going to buy this footage? I mean, Tommy Keystone is a hot story. I mean, maybe they get into some kind of uh, legal trouble and then people will need this video. Look, he's using his phone. <laughs> I wonder what he's dialing. Anyway, Tommy Keystone, legend. Rock and roll legend. Right here in Curacao. Did you ever think you would come to to Curacao and see the great uh, Tommy Two Tone. Tommy One Tone, uh, I, I, he may be, but Tommy Two Tone, no, okay. I better get out of here. Uh, Michelle does not like bridges. A lot of people have a phobia of bridges, and uh, this bridge could be more phobic than most because uh, it moves and uh, yeah. We all go through phobias. My, mine, some people have phobia of Foreigner, uh, the band. Oh, it has no original numbers. Um, but you, you, if you have phobia, sometimes they come and go in life. There was times in my life when I had severe anxiety over just about everything. And now I just sort of, eh, life is uh, what it is. Anyway, we better get back to the boat so we're not uh, here. Runners. You have a nice time in Curacao? Yeah, yeah, the food wasn't great, but well, we had it. We, 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 we try to eat like the locals, 
but it wasn't very good. The crossing? Where, where, where are you at? She's obviously not a New Yorker. From New York State, but that does not count. Uh, there is a, a fine local establishment right here, uh, uh, Pizza Hut. That is the Pizza Hut of Curacao. Probably would have been better than that shit we ate. Uh, did you know I can sing the Curacao? Uh, I got it. National anthem? I'll sing a few now. Hand over your heart. Oh, Curacao, we love you and your Curacaoian ways. That's all I remember. There's KFC and Subway uh, under a tent. Huh? Amazing. And there is the pigeon uh, soul star of the evening right there. Don't they are indigenous to these parts? Look at them. The center of attention. All right, well, we better get to the boat. This has been a lot of pussyfooting and monkeying around. We're trying to remember our way back to the boat, but uh, there's the painted ladies on the right. And then you walk through the riffraff fort on the left. Obviously, this sign uh, proclamates that and uh yeah here we are back uh, through the fort oh there was a general doctor mr curacao it's currently 84 degrees uh, a little bit overcast stay tuned for the latest there is the mariner of the sea and there is the person you call if you uh, have a ghost problem i ain't afraid of no ghosts no me neither ray parker jr right there here in curacao that's the cool thing about these cruises. You can walk around and there's the guy who sang the Ghostbusters theme. Ray Parker Jr. Legend. Last call is between us and Ray Parker Jr. Uh, whether or not we make it back. Right. After a long day walking through Curacao, we're gonna walk all the way up to the diner, which is Windjammer, 11 floors up. When we were checking back onto the boat, Efren Ramirez, Pedro, from the point of dynamite, he dropped his uh, seat pass, and it blew away in the wind for a second. If there was ever a time to go, gosh, stupid. Uh, idiot. That would have been the time. But, uh, it didn't happen. But, uh, Tommy Sue, Tom, and Ray Parker Jr., all just getting on board. You come on these cruises, you get to hang out with everybody. I have to walk slower. Uh, that was only four or five. I have to pace myself. It occurred to me that. Efren Ramirez, Pedro, dresses like Michael Myers, uh, minus the mask. He's wearing sort of blue work overalls. This is six, excuse me. Oh, I dropped that. Well, we made it. I made it up for one of the flights. This is called Washi Washi. If you've been on a cruise in the modern day, Washi Washi. When you go on these cruises, you like to get a, a, a an animal made out of towels. Huh? What? Two nights in a row, nothing? I will sue. This is bullshit. I'm gonna piss on the floor. Dracula! Dracula. We are almost ready to cast off and start sailing towards our home port the Port Canaveral. The total distance to go is 1,274 nautical miles or 1,466 nautical miles in order to be at the Port Canaveral on Thursday morning on March the 7th. We will need an average speed of 20 knots, uh, which is equal to 23 miles per hour. Oh, oh, oh. The weather forecast for tonight is calling for partly cloudy skies with easterly winds around 25 knots or 29 miles per hour with northeasterly seas around uh, two and a half meters or nine feet. Uh, the temperature out there will be 27 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees. 
paradigm. Uh, for tomorrow, I'll see it looks like we can expect a partly cloudy skies with a chance of rain. Easterly winds around uh, 25 meters, uh, 25 knots or 29 uh, miles per Trash. hour. Uh, the seas will be from northeasterly direction. You watch my tour diaries. Monsters are close. You've met Dracula before. Uh, the temperature will be 27 degrees or 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Went and down. Of us, we are in a moving environment. As a general precaution, I would like to remind all our guests and crew that in the event the ship will experience any kind of motion, guests are cautioned to use available handrails throughout the ship and to watch hands and fingers exactly. in the doorways. Uh, also, please take extra care when you open decks as they you need an announcement to watch your wet. watch your fingers in the doorway. You got to apply some more to The sun will set today. At 6.45 p.m. and uh, rise tomorrow morning at 6.45 p.m. And with that, I wish you a wonderful evening on board the Mariner on the seas. And as always, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thank you, Dracula. That's Captain Dracula. I cannot begin to tell you how crazy all these stairs we've been walking are. I mean, everything is stairs. Uh, probably averaging. 50 flights a day. This is gonna be the sail away from here to Curacao. This is a Cobra Kai band. As you can see, Cobra Kai never died. They do uh, eat a lot though, it seems. But no mercy. No mercy. No mercy on the buffet, boys. And uh, there, a whale sighting or two. And we'll go and get a good view of the sail away. So, sail away time. Cobra Kai karaoke happening there. Uh, uh, people floating here. And then the farewell to the sea. And the beautiful Curacao. I hope you enjoyed my tour. We're here to get a good view of the sail away uh, here on the links. Oh, look, there's a. Oh, it sucks, yeah. Ice Ice Baby, uh, 1991, not the 80s. Uh, to you, this is under pressure. Someone is singing karaoke, I touch myself. Didn't do a good job. One more time for Emily. Come on, give it up. Swift the leg. Next up, we have Carrie. Where's Carrie? Who's going 
got the gong. Johnny couldn't be here, obviously. He's passed. Uh, but, uh, uh, Michelle, what do you think of this band? It's fucking awful. Worst shit I've ever heard. <laughs> she took care of it for Johnny. What the fuck is this? What is that noise? I mean, at some point in time, it was an attempt to be Come on, baby, light my fire. I think we need to hit the gong. Saying goodbye to Curacao, possibly the last time I will ever see it. But yeah, you never know. I'd say life is short, but I never thought I'd be here once. I never thought I'd be on a cruise. A lot of fun. I'm trying to decide if I would do this. Does he look scared? That, it looks like you could drown. It looks like you could drown in, in the in the tube. Who knew that in this uh, cruise boat, there would be a uh, 13th floor? There it is, sea life. A lot of jackasses like to say, my office for the night, or hashtag tour life. Well, this is sea life. You gotta be a seaman to know it. Tonight's dinner. I'm thinking of having the uh, shrimp cocktail and maybe the onion soup if they let me. The people uh, on either side of us are very close. It's like a sharing thing again. I'm gonna reach over and help myself to some of their food if we're really sharing. The spicy shrimp jalfrezi is a sh shrimp and a tiger sauce. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what it is, curry or some shit. I've never had a baked Alaska. It's not the sugar-free choice, but I'm thinking about it. Thank you, that's the best outfit I've seen. Thank you. you guys are in the Griswold spirit. Yeah, all right, thank you. They're doing a John Hughes uh, prom tonight. And uh, that right there, well, that's Clark Griswold, but right there is uh, Cameron from Ferris Pillars Theater Off. When Cameron was an Egyptian, now I'm going to try this French onion soup that I missed yesterday. The shrimp cocktail is not looking uh, very impressive. Everything has been very bland so far. I can't imagine this will be any different. It's got some kind of curry. Maybe that has flavor. I don't know. Uh, but this is going to be really boring. Pretty much everybody is dressed as fair as few as they are. So you have multiple Ferris's. And, uh, it's a John Hughes. I should have logged in earlier. The uh, chicken masala was very bland, so uh, they gave me tortellini instead, and that was good. This is baked <clears throat> Alaska. I don't think it's indigenous to Alaska. But, uh, anyway, my first time. It looks pretty good. I'll let you know. Baked Alaska was good. The tortellini was good. <laughs> Everything else was pretty bland, but uh, my first baked Alaska, I enjoyed it. The tables were incredibly close to each other. <laughs> they do sharing at these tables, which is totally stupid. Why would you want to share with a bunch of fucking strangers? I barely want to share with myself. Anyway, uh, they were all sticks in the muds around us. But we were right by the door, like the reviewing committee. And pretty much everyone here is dressed like Clark and Ellen Griswold from Christmas Vacation only. Or Ferris and Sloan. And some has Cameron from uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. There might be, I saw a few 16 candles. I did see Long Duck Dong. But there's a John Hughes prom tonight. And hopefully I can show you about that. Most of this video has been me wandering through the halls. I hope I got another free gift. Did we get a free gift? No. Fucked us. On cruises, they like to just show up in your room and drop things off. Every day on this boat, there's been free gifts. Today's gifts is a pair of drumsticks. Uh, uh, everyone got these hats that are... Who, 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 how are you going to get these damn things home? Giant hat. 
Uh, but they give you a giant bag. Excuse the mess, I didn't know he's having company. Uh, uh, they give you a giant bag to put your giant hat. Yesterday's gift. <clears throat> they did not take my half eaten cookies. One of us had the munchies last night. <clears throat> it was me. Yeah, it was me. Uh, <laughs> don't tell. Uh, anyway, it was a set of pins. So there, there you go. So we're on the fucking ocean right now, or what? You know, you know that the whales and the dolphins and the octopi and the cuttlefish are all underneath the boat going, Hey, who's playing tonight? I love that show. Bum, 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 bum. Skid Row, I was there in 89. They're playing tonight. I'll bet you, I'll bet you, I bet you there's like some humpback whales down there cracking open a beer saying, I wonder if they're going to do Youth Gone Wild. Right now, right fucking now, I know they're under there. I miss MTV, big time. I miss putting the TV on and the video comes on. Our love's in jeopardy, baby. Can you run out from Sebastian Bach and go right to the Ray Parker Jr. set to hear Ghostbusters? It's an interesting place.
so tonight we saw Sebastian Bach, and then who did we see? Ray Parker Jr. And we saw Ray Parker Jr. What did he say? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I think that might be the biggest song on the boat. Round the Round is up there in my mind. But now we're going to go to the 80s prom. The theme of the 80s prom is John Hughes. So everyone here is wearing uh, a John Hughes outfit. So I saw about 10,000 Ferris Bueller's. I saw about 20 million Griswolds. And you're playing music from John Hughes movies. Let's see what we can see. Oh, look. There's a Cason, the original, right there. Cason, pretty and pink. Breakfast club. I've never been to a prom. If I had been to a prom, I probably would have worn moose ears. Presenting. What is happening now? What is happening, Michelle? You are, uh, uh, in many cases, half the age of the people here, and that's not just your boyfriend. Whoa. They're announcing the king and queen. There's Ferris Bueller and Sloan again. I don't really care about the prom king and queen. I'm the king of my cabin, and uh, Michelle is the queen. And we don't really need to be social. I would never have gone to a prom. I would never belong to a club that would have me as a member. Uh, and, uh, but it was fun. I was glad that I experienced it for even uh, just a few. Without and your king. 
for the John Hughes Rum 80s Cruise 2024. From Cabin, 7297 Beetlejuice. He campaigned very hard. These people are 16 candles. I, I didn't count them all. Uh, well, there's, there's one probably missing. But uh, yeah, there they are, the 16 candles. There's Cameron, uh, all grown up uh, now. Oh, 16 and then, candles. Yeah, 16 candles. There they are, the 16 candles. Each is numbered on the back. Uh, all right, a lot of people are leaving the prom. Uh, Tommy Tutone, though, is here giving out his number. Uh, I think it's 8675309. Let's take a look at some of the costumes Michelle and I are viewing. There's Clark. Oh, hi, guys. How are you? And, Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Striking the perfect pose. Did you check the shitters, honey? All right. Shitters full. Shitters full. All right. And uh, they don't realize. So, yep. Uh, chips enough right there. They don't realize it's the best dressed costume. Look at that. I like that. Uh, last, Rusty slept in his underpants last night. You guys are way too young for this stuff. <laughs> Keep she filming. Is. Keep filming. <laughs> and, uh,. Uh, 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 this is a breakfast club. And, and then right there, the costume of the year is uh, uh, Tommy Tutal. And uh, here's a Clark Griswold. Here comes a uh, 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 Cousin Eddie. And maybe that's Cousin Catherine. And uh, I believe so, yeah. Everybody loves a baby. And uh, are you serious, Clark? Very unaware. I don't know what that is. That Ray Charles? It's, it's, this is a great place to review. That's a Ferris Bueller in the vest over there. I'm not sure what all these people are dressed as. But. I do recognize the. Uh, hello, how are you? That's a interesting. Get up the. Uh, there's Clark uh, in the Santa outfit from the poster. I'm a fan of that. Poster art. Uh, that's another Cameron from. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Try harder next year. Uh, there's another Cameron. And uh, hello, how are you? And uh, uh, Cameron's gained a little weight, but uh, since he was sick in bed, Cameron was in Egypt's land. Let my Cameron go. And here comes another Cameron here. That might be Cameron's dad. Uh, and a Sloan. A Sloan and a Cameron. Uh, no Ferris with them. Maybe they could pick up a Ferris. I think I see a Ferris in the back. Uh, yeah, and uh, this is a very interesting e event. Uh, uh, Sebastian Bach saw all the Red Wings outfits and he was confused. Well, anyway, he, he didn't understand that this is a costume uh, party. There's another, uh, everyone just getting together, having a fun time, reminiscing about the 80s. Most of these people uh, in their 80s. This is vacation, talking to Pretty in Pink. We got some duckies. And, uh, and, and of course, Clark uh, over there are more clones. And uh, let's see, these are also uh, Pretty in Pink as their favorites. I wasn't sure about this one. I think they're Harry. Uh, and uh, everyone is just running wild. Uh, uh, hi, how are you? Fantastic.